Good morning, good evening, or good afternoon, and thank you for joining us once again, the Modernsters of Gaming, with the Pokemon Necro Neon Editions, and with me here is the soon-to-be Pokemon Master, or disaster himself, Necro Nix. Hello, Necro. Hello, everybody. <laughs> okay. Anyways, as he creeps everybody out and walks out of the place without looking, um, all you missed last time was him catching us on pretty interesting Pokemon, including... Um, I'm gonna call him Bulbdog. Which was a Snubble, but it's now a grass type that has a really cool, awesome special attack ability. I forget which Pokemon has Anger Point naturally. It's probably like Tauros or something like that. I think it's like one of the bigger Pokemon. I would imagine like Hippochamp or something. Like that, that could be it too, yeah. Um, anyways, uh, feel free to explore the town and whatnot. You gotta follow him to go to the next area anyway. And, uh, you know, one thing that kind of deserve, disturbed me about this, these games all the time, people just randomly let you walk into your house. You know what really freaked me out about this game more than that, though? Think about it, okay? Every Pokemon here is a weapon. Mm hmm Okay? You've got mice that can shoot lightning. you got you got dinosaurs that can shoot seeds that suck the life out of people. you got legendary Pokemon that can create the apocalypse, and what's holding them? Ten-year-old kids. Yeah. You're one temper tantrum away from losing a continent. And think about it, if these kids keep them until they're teenagers, you're not really going to want to tell them, turn down that music, or Voltorb's going to explode your car. Yeah. Voltorb explosion. No, not again! <sighs> yep. Yep. Also, you ever notice that there's like... No, no, none of the parents, none of the adults seem to have Pokemon. What the hell? Necro? Do you have your phone on? I'm pretty sure mine's down. I'm pretty sure mine's down too. Double check. Phone check. <laughs> and mine's on silent, dude. What do we got here? That nah, must be mine. Phone check. Apparently it did not go down when I told it to go down originally. Okay. Okay, so phone check over with, folks. But yeah, I mean, like... Why don't any of the parents ever have really big Pokemon? Like, every once in a while you have a Pokemon tra uh, gym leader, that's one of them, but I mean... True. Like, no parents ever have a Pokemon. And usually it's something like small, like, Oh, my little pup, oh, it, it has such a fluffy face, I have to pet it! I don't think there's any actual items in the town. You might check that garbage can over there. It looks kind of suspicious. I think the only thing that's actually in here is the potion. Yeah, okay. Anyway, start going north, because I don't think there's anything else. Yeah. There's people you can talk to. Hey, asshole. It's Alder, you fucking bastard. I'm calling him asshole. You stupid bint. You bloody bastard. Look at my hair! Only in an anime would I be able to have hair like this! In reality, if you saw me walking down the street like this, you'd laugh at my ass! And then I would summon the hells upon you! Okay, so now you're gonna start heading into an area that actually has trainers that will actually fight you. And, no, and a random old man. Uh, oh god, he's actually running, folks! So, so the kid in the orange hat will be your first opponent. Remember, you have a couple Pokemon to choose from. And here we go, folks. Gotta catch them all. Now, now, folks, so what you, I always skip over the tutorials so you folks don't have to go through that boringness. But our opponent is using a Caterpie, which is apparently a poison type in this game. God only knows what this thing is. Venipede. Ven now, Venipede is one of my favorite bug types. But and God only knows if it's actually a Venipede. Yeah, we, we, we don't know what it actually does here. So, Necro, this is a battle, so you will not have to hold back. Obliterate this sucker if you want. <laughs> well, it's not super effective. Well, okay, so that, that does cut out a few choices. It used takedown! Well, that's gonna hurt. Hey, both of you. Okay, um, try Charge Beam. I'm trying to narrow down what species it is. Okay, 
Well, okay, so was it super effective against him? No. Well, okay, that cuts out quite a few... But it did take him about halfway down, so it's normal well, effect. Remember, you're an electric type using an electric type attack. It's always going to do bonus damage. Oh, look, you actually got to boost your defense. Not, not like it's going to do you a whole lot, but dang, do you have a lot of special attack. This is, this is the future Mewtwo right here, folks. And it's got two evolutions ahead of it. I got money! Okay, so... When you cross the bridge... Yeah, you wanna fight me again, Lou Who? No, that's that's uh, that's later games. Or maybe it is this one. Maybe ma does X does, does Y and oh, does White and White Two have the verse system? I think it might just be X. Okay, so here we go. She's gonna battle you with the cutest Pokemon she's ever known. So what's her cute Pokemon? Hey. It's Timpole. Oh, my favorite electric type. Well, it's Evolutionist. Oh, sorry, no, wrong wrong Pokemon. Sorry. That's a Tapol. This is usually a water type. I think it's a water type. Or it might be a water ground type. No, when it becomes a seismic it's a water type. A water ground type. Okay, well that limits it, okay? If it doesn't affect it, that means that it's at least a ground type. They use confusion. Yeah, well your grass type has freaking uh, flying type attacks. Ooh! Oh. Oh, well, hey, those, those were critical hits. You. Those were critical hits. Those, okay, well. Super effective, though. Were they? Yeah. Okay, well, it, he's at least a ground type. I don't know what other type he is, but he's at least a ground type. I'm actually writing them down as we're running across them, folks, so if we see one, we can, you know, try and grab it. Now, this area will have different Pokemon in it, but there's one more trainer ahead of you. That's the kid in the orange hat. What do you get there? A pure incense. I believe that's another held item. I can't remember what it does. Maybe it makes them. Oh, does it make them friendly? That one. Okay, so we don't want that right now. Maybe later when we go to those annoying caves where every three steps you fight somebody. I don't know. You might want to fight the kid in the orange hat first. Okay, well, anyways. What are we up against first? Okay, so we have a Starly! Starlies are usually flying normal types. What do we have this time? And remember, it's level two, so don't cold clock it. Um, in other words, we'll roll eight. Well, if you, we'll try switching Pokemon then. You do have two others. Yeah. Try switching to. Um, I don't know. Um, yeah, we'll change to Bold Dog. Go oh, Bold Dog. Well, look at, I'm getting. Oh shit! <laughs> I didn't want to have like a shit brick house, but yet this is the Pokemon that has 13 normal. Attacks. Well, yeah, but he's also the same level. Okay, well, this is a bad combination. No. Uh, I've been poisoned. Yes, you have. It's super effective. Okay, so Starly might be a bug type. Um. Okay, you might want to use uh. Aerial Ace, I guess? Yeah. If you're lucky, you won't kill it with one hit. If you're unlucky, you're gonna fry this sucker. Alright! Nice! Oh, I get me a Starly! Okay, so it's, there's a chance that Starly here is a bug type. It's definitely using freaking Twin Needle. Oh! Anger Point! Oh, dang! <laughs> you don't want a critical hit, man! You wouldn't like you wouldn't like Bulb Dog when she's angry. Okay, well, good thing we're gonna try and catch this. You might want to yeah, try to catch it. Just go for it. You're gonna be running back to the Pokemon Center anyway. Use yeah. Your last the... item. See at the bottom. Huh? Look at the bottom of the page. See, it says use uh, last item. Wait, that was a potion that I used. No, that's a Pokeball. There's a picture of it right there. Oh, is it? Okay. Ah, folks, this is what it's like. To, to, to ride a bicycle that has, you know, barbed wire for the, the handlebars. Oh, Kyle. Thank you, Necro. One. Two. Three. Three. And we're, we're really getting good with these catches right here. We haven't lost one yet. Yep. I love catching me Pokemons. Okay, so we got Starly. What are you, Starly? Starly is a... 
bug fire type. Oh, dang. Okay, okay well, hello, bug fire type. Um, <laughs> That's a pretty good combination. I like that combination. Uh, okay, well, I'm officially making this a non-friendly, uh, kid-friendly game. Oh, what are you doing? What are you doing? No, no, no swears. We can't, we can't do that. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm willing to let you do a lot of things, but we can't do, we can't do swears written down. I don't know if, I don't know if they'll have a field day with it or not. How do you spell fudge? F-U-D-G-E. You. They're in alphabetical order. D. G. <laughs> UP <laughs> Okay, the bug fire type fudged up. Check its abilities, man. Oh uh, yeah, that's true. Well, you get out of there, but you check its ability. We gotta see what this thing is. It'll probably have some kind of horribly stupid ability. It's holding an item. Stuff. Okay, so what do we have here? It has a dusk ball, nice. A bug fire type, and it has honey gather. The Pokemon may gather honey from somewhere. It has flare blitz. Oh damn! Flare blitz and that freaking twin, twin needle. needle that freaking fucked my world up. Okay, so there's another thing I need you to do. I need you to get out of here. Uh, click on it. No, go back. You didn't listen. You, you, you went too far. Click on uh, Jiggly Buff or Jilly Buff item. Baby! I don't know. Take. And then do it the same thing with fudged up. There you go. Alright, so now you can run back to the, uh... To the infirmary with your tail between your legs and, uh... I'm gonna be the very best that no one ever was because no one can actually stand playing this game for that long no one ever catches them all because it doesn't it doesn't work that way so people would say it's really exfoliatively deleted <laughs> okay we're not going James Hunt and Bob there <laughs> fuck fuck mother fuck fuck mother fuck fuck no sorry sorry freaking love that movie Okay, heal up your your armada of ever growing death. <laughs> yes, I would like to heal them up. Except be careful of the be careful of the the, uh, the bird. Believe it or not, it's actually a flaming insect. <laughs> Don't know how that works, but if anybody could tell me. Uh... Actually, my favorite insect, uh, my favorite bug type in this game is actually called Volcar Volcarona, and it's actually a bug fire type. Oh, I didn't know they exactly existed. I thought they were kind of. I think there's only one. Uh, I was gonna say, I thought in Pokemon terminology that kind of contradicted. Hey, so. hey, do you remember the first time we played Chaos Mode and we got a, an Ice Poison type? Yeah. Let's not start talking about contradictions. I've played in Fire Water types, Electric Ground types. That's a weird one right there. Okay, so you have one more trainer or you can continue trying to catch Pokemon of Doom. I'm over. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have eight Pokemon marked down here. We're still trying to find out what Venipede is. Poop. Okay, Little Pup is normally a normal type. What are you now, you adorable bastard? Always going with the Icicle Spear. Good choice. Lots of Pokemon are weak to Ice types. Well, that and it is a multi hitter. Well, whatever it is, it is not very effective against this little guy. No, I mean, I just critical hit it twice. Well, if you critical hit once, you critical hit with all of them. Or I thought you did. No. Oh, you hit him with all five hits, though. It's not very effective. <laughs> okay, it well. Him down. Well, okay, what are you gonna use then? Flame Burst! Okay, well. Ow. Your turn. Bitch. <laughs> Your mother. 
And down you go. <laughs> Flipping off the screen does not help, but go ahead, you know, if it makes you feel any better. It did. Good. Hey, thank you, too. Okay. Anyways. <laughs> I had a moment, guys. Leave me alone. It happens, man. It happens. Now, that guy will not attack. Not yet, at least. Trubbish! The poison garbage Pokemon. That everyone makes fun of because of how stupid he looks. Okay, what do you think I should go with here, Tom? Okay, well, I say you go with Icicle Spear. Because it has the lowest damage of your attacks. And it'll help us pick out what he is because it... Okay. First of all, folks, I think Trubbish is really a cool looking Pokemon. I, I don't know what anyone's talking about. Everyone's like, oh, all he is is a, all he is is a garbage bag. Well, yeah, but all muck is is a giant pile of frickin' radioactive. Okay, oh, doesn't power. Power. Yep, that's a rock type attack, so that'll narrow down the base a little. I'm gonna try and give it a catch. Okay, try to give it a catch then. I mean, I I think I might kill him with anything else. Well, go with a dust ball. Because it is getting close to dark. Maybe you might get some better luck with that. Go, Dusk Ball! <laughs> oh, I like that. I like that shadow effect. Yeah, Ooh. that was pretty crazy. One, two, three. Yeah! Yeah! We got a Trubbish! Or whatever the hell it's supposed to be. Because it has ancient freaking power. Okay, so what do we got? By the way, we are playing catch them all. We will not leave an area until we are sure we caught every type of Pokemon. Yes. That we can at that time. Dark Rock oh, type. <laughs> well, okay, Trubbish. So now I got two double freaking Yeah, you got, two, you got two double types. Yeah, you have your, your Trubbish here. Which I'm going to call... I'm going to call him Rebin. Rebin. I, for, like, recycling bin. E B I N. I like that name. I like Rebin. I think Trubbish is a good Pokemon. He might, be, he might not be the strongest Pokemon, but he's cool. Check his ability. Let's see what he's got. Okay. Come on, Trubbish. Come on, Rebin. Don't fail me now. Don't fail me now. G give me something. Give me. Tell me you have some kind of really cool stat here. All right. All right. Here we go. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Rough Skin inflicts damage to the attacker on contact. Very nice. He has. Stealth Rock, Quash, and Ancient Power. He could definitely have better abilities, but he are attacks. But you know what? Rough He's skin's only awesome. a level 3, though. Right. I mean, he is now my second lowest Pokemon. Right. I really gotta boost these two up. Well, you can do that. You just have to wait a little while. We'll, we'll do a little bit of leveling off screen, you know? Yeah. We don't want to bore the people with the details. In fact, in four minutes, we're going to be uh, signing off for a few minutes, and then maybe Necro will just go and level them up there. Okay, well, okay. Trubbish, we now know what type you are. So you're dead. Yeah, so we now know what to fight you with. <laughs> okay, Trubbish, you are a rock dark type. Which means actually nothing Mary has is super effective. This is fine. I'm going to use Charge Beam. He's get... also only a level 2 Trubbish, so I mean, this is just not good. Once again, folks, if you watch and have any cool idea for, to name each of these Pokemon, just give, just give, a, give a shout out. Mm. We're looking for them. Feel the mic. Also, uh, you saw that we fought against a Venipede earlier. If we don't fight another one between the time this is done and to put up, Give us an idea of what you think he is. Remember, we hit him with an electric type attack and we hit him with an ice type attack, and neither one was super effective. That still gives a lot of choices. Also, remember, in the randomizer, all the Pokemon in this area are, are swapped with another one. So if you see us go through an area and you say we catch four Pokemon, right? And you say, well, wait a minute, there's actually five in there. One of them is really rare. You tell us, and we'll go back. Okay, Starly yes. is a bug fire type. I want to catch him. You already caught him. He's level four though now. Or you could just level yours up and get the bonus stats. Okay, so he's a bug fire type. So charge beam, I guess. You know that's probably the best. 
Also, I'm not 100% sure, folks. We might look into this. But, uh... They, if, if a Pokemon naturally has... I could catch him. You could give it a shot if you want. Oh! Never mind, Mary is toast! Uh, oh, you, you, you barely survived that. Okay, you might want to switch to a different Pokemon. In case you can't tell folks right now, he's just nodding his head to the beat going, yeah, I probably should. Um, let's see here. It probably would be in your best interest to use Rabin or Jigglybuff. Seeing as bug fire types are really strong against grass types. Wait a minute, no wait, no, never mind. Snubble might be a good choice too. Okay, well, anyways, you want to head north. So, this way? Yep, and then you want to head left. There should be a Pokeball down south of you. And a hole. So grab that Pokeball. Without falling into a hole again. And you found a net ball. Awesome. That's good against catching bug types. You head down into the left. Now wait, wait, hang on a second now. Hang on a second. Hold on a second now. If you want to tempt fate, mm -hmm. you could go north and get a free heal after a Pokemon fight. If you want to tempt fate. You'll be up against your rival who will have a level 8 Pokemon, but he'll only have his original Pokemon. It's your choice, man. If you go south and to your left, you'll get to the Pokemon Center. If you go north, you could fight him. And you know what we're gonna do, folks? We're gonna save it for next time! Of course, by then we'll have higher level Pokemon. We're gonna go do a little bit of offshoot battling, maybe catch a few more. What we're gonna do is basically try to get this Pokemon up to like level 5 or 6 apiece. So we'll be right back, folks, but until then, I'm Kaiju K. I'm the Pokemonster. Ah, fuck. Go with it, go with it, go with it. I like that. Go with that. Monster Necro Nick. There we go, and everyone have yourselves a good one. Peace out, everybody. Peace out, everybody. So you gotta, you gotta stick with something like that. Like, that was pretty cool. Like, I'm the Pokemonster. I'm like, yeah, go with it. And you're like, no, oh, this is stupid. No, that was awesome. <laughs> See, that's the thing. Like, I try to tell Reaper that. Oh, crap, stop the recording before I keep rambling like this. <laughs>